What's up my dudes, it's your boy Pokedom Out for another car booty hunting session We've got Del Louise along as co-pilot today Say hi Del Louise Hi Del Louise Hi Del Louise <laughs> See what we can find eh? Ooh, all the goodies All the goodies Look at that. Big pilot, How are we doing? I'm buying this. How much is your camera, mate? Oh, five, 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 Yeah, it's a good little vibe here. Have we got out near him today that I should be looking at? He's got no stuff for all that. Just them for Dinkies. Here. How much do you want then? Channel for that and four for that. Let's start sound by me is that. What was, hey, if I can make a new open mic, that's yeah, yeah. what it's about. Of course it is, yeah. Of course it is. You put a sticker on it, no! <laughs> well, little figures ain't bad, don't lost little yeah, figures. Yeah, no, no, I, I, I was worried that you'd lose them. Oh no, it's alright, about a quid. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Just don't walk just by one, him. Just, just don't walk by him. No, no. This, just one of them figures might be worth as much as. I've not looked. Hey, but just what? one of them figures might be I worth as much as that. I've got what I want. You'll get it's, any it's more. The, it's, the, it's the figures that are the money. Oh no! You know what I, I mean? know. I know. That's, that's ten a penny. Is, is the oh, actual that, yeah. play set, but the figures are where value is. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers nice for that. You know, mate. See you in a bit.
How much for that pile then? Comes to 30 quid, I thought I'd get it. 30? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You got a bag at all? Yeah. That way as well. This one? Buy that one. How do you know? You throw that, we throw that lens in, is that alright? Yeah, yeah, you're right, mate. Branching out, trying new things. I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit. It's a bit thin on ground today, so try new I, things. I used you? to have a shop just selling SLRs. Right. So I, I have only kept one camera at a lot of them. And it's, uh, I like it. Right. I've had it for 30 years. Trying new things now and again. If not else, ornamental <laughs> value. Yeah. Yeah, well, I hope you do all right. Someone will want them, won't they? Yeah. Cheers for that. Thank you for that. Oh, some weight in that. Thank you. Yeah.
not too bad actually. Finds there. To say that it was quite quiet, quite drizzly. We've got a nice poly pocket set. Uh, Winnie the Pooh poly, poly pocket set. And a whole bunch of vintage camera equipment just because I had to buy something. Onwards and upwards to the second car boot. Tally ho! Tally ho! No, what? I'm alright, mate. Are you? Yeah, yeah, you sure yeah, I said what? No turtle left, mate. <laughs> no turtle gets left, mate. I do know, you know, you don't know general. What do you want for these bits here, buddy? I'll speak to you later. Alright, mate, alright, yeah. But they're worth, they're worth money, Roger. Worth money, are they? Well, I'd have thought so, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. He might know. These What's that? Man, What's that? I know. Yeah, these three things. Uh, four quid for them, mate. How about that up here? What about this guy? Um, a five of it. Two of them. Put that? Yeah, five. It's with a fiber. It's plastic. I don't know what they are. It's like road rollers. Eight oh, yeah, I'm not eight, big on eight quid for oh. I think it's a fiver a second. No, 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 fiver for this. Oh, right. Oh, no, I couldn't, I couldn't do two, no. I'll oh, pass on that then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not big on. You're not on then. Automobile. No. Oh, yeah. Cheers, I'll, mate. I'll think about doing five what you said. Them, All right, Roger. I'll I'll have, to you have a fair bit in them, turtles. They might get too much for them, actually. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah no worries. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. How much are you still burning? 20 quid. 20? Could I buy just the family? No, no it's not. Has to come with it? Yeah, I'll sit down. Uh, I like it. I don't want the family. No? no. no. Go on then, I'll take it all and more. All right. <laughs> 25 now. Oh, it's gone up now. Yeah. Because it's me. <laughs> Will you keep it in car for me, please? Yeah. You don't have any others, do you? No. Oh, and then we had another way, but we sold them all. Oh. Don't tell me that. I don't need to know that. You can't tell me that. We had loads. Oh, I saw it when you brought the house. I saw that. Yeah, I saw that.
How much you want for a gorilla? Two quid, mate. Two quid. Take it for two quid. There you go. I'll have a wander around, but let me know where you find new stuff. What's up guys we are back inside the treasure trove let's check out some of the things that we got today up first in no particular order up first we have a santa magogo santa magogo santa magogo i don't know why i bought this i do know why i bought this it hit me right in the nostalgia bone smashed it because when we were kids me and my brother used to have very similar looking gorillas to these where you squeeze the stomach and they went hop 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 like that let me know if you remember those let me know in the comments if you remember those can't find any comps on this particular one i can find santa magogo gorillas but not this christmas themed one um he's new old stock he's battery operated sings and dances apparently but if the batteries are in there i imagine there's not much chance of him being functional anymore so just looking at the back of the packaging now i've noticed that quite fortunately batteries are not included top film top 80s film i mentioned so there's every chance that the well there's no reason actually for the to think for even a second that the battery compartment will be rusted out should be good might have to take him out of the packaging and have a little play with him <laughs> santa magogo santa magogon get gone 
Another one that you could possibly help me out with in the comments section is this Ben 10 figure. I picked it up knowing full well that there is a rare Ben 10 figure with this particular colour scheme. Not sure if that's him or not. Not much of a Ben 10 fan. Let, you let me know, guys. What's that guy's name? Help me with the comps on that one. What's that guy? At the same time that I picked up that Ben 10 figure, I also picked up... These guys keep, just keep popping up. Reliable resources of knockoff gladiator figures. Don't know why I keep picking them up. I don't think there's much value to them at all, but he was there. Same time, same stall. I picked up this vintage Galoob Lex Luther Luger. Lex. He's the Lex of the wrestling variety. You can tell I'm not big on wrestling figures. But Galoob. And I knew that there was, or is, a rare variant of this, but I don't think this is him, if I'm honest. And he's absolutely terrible condition, so... One for the... Uh, one for the pile. One for the bulking together pile. Oh, same stall. Hatari remote control for a vintage RC car. I did hope that this went with or was compatible with the tumbler type RC because I've got one of those sitting around a Hitari, but judging by the way that the sticks move, I'm guessing it's Nox. I think with tumblers usually, well, I know with tumblers usually, backwards and forwards on both sticks, not left and right on that stick. So I don't know which car that goes to. Don't know. Picked it up. A couple of quid. I was picked to the post on this one. Just about. We both dived our hands in at the same time into the box. Um, this Winnie the Pooh. I know that Polly Pockets with a Disney theme are good. Um, the local toy seller is always there at that car boot. So I've dived in the same box at the same time as me. Beat me to it in a way. But then it's fine. Because all he does is take them to his stall and sell them. And he sold them to me. Sold that to me. Whilst we were there both in the same box, I helped him dig out pretty much, it looks like pretty much all of the characters that go with it. There's Pooh, there's Tigger, there's Eeyore, the Definite, there's pretty much, almost certainly most of the figures. And these figures themselves are probably worth more than the player set. Um, I think I paid him t £10 for it in the end. Uh, it seems to have comps way up there, right up to 50 60 70 even £80 sold. Um, so yeah, it wants a bit of a clean. It's a little bit grubby. And I'm not sure there's definitely all the figures there. There might be one or maybe two missing, but definitely worth picking up for £10. Bolo, be on the lookout for that one. Any Polly Pocket themed, Disney themed Polly Pocket, grab it. I also grabbed along with the Polly Pocket Winnie the Pooh, I grabbed this uh, Buck Rogers Starfighter by Corgi from the same toy seller. He I think he found it in the same box. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I paid him, I think 15 altogether. So I might have paid five for this and 10 for the Winnie the Pooh. That should sell easily for, I think 20 pounds, somewhere around that. It's the larger scale one. I've had the smaller one before and sold that for, I think 15 pounds. So that should be fine. That should be a good buy. Always missing the rockets. You can't expect to find those, but overall conditions good a bit and the decal's still there. So that's great. Pretty good, pretty good. I'd rather be shiny. <laughs> uh, he sings it so much better than me. Yeah, he sings it. He sings it so much better than I do. Don't show up now. You finish your song, mate. You have your moment. fishing in it all right mate, is he gonna do a full song come on i think you're gonna do, <laughs> you're gonna do the full song then shiny the big crab guy from moana fantastic uh little jewelry box anime not animated but does sing the song for you um yeah and he's got a little compartment in there if i can figure out how to open it up so the same button as you press the same button as the song we've, we've managed to turn the song off and it's a, it's a jewelry box and it comes with a little ring which is still there which i presume is quite hard to find i would imagine i would imagine that's the thing that's usually missing is the ring or maybe you don't maybe yeah maybe you leave the ring there actually and then when you go to steal the ring it pops onto your finger no i don't know anyway bought this whilst looking at a huge stack of lol balls which <laughs> i've had them before I think they've fallen out of favour. I don't think they go for the money that they once did. 
So I decided to pass on all the LOLs because the lady was asking, I think, 105, 110 pounds, something like that for this stack of them. And I just grabbed this up because while she was adding up the LOLs, <laughs> I looked this up and it sells for like 40 quid upwards. Um, or thir No, 30 to 40 and I paid two pounds for it. So yeah, it's nice, awesome. The next item is this Sylvanian's Caravan, which I definitely did not want to buy, but the seller would not separate it got the horse in there it looks like it's got pretty much all the accessories did oh dear didn't want to buy that i wanted to buy these but the seller wouldn't separate them uh another ball though <laughs> really overusing that term overusing that term in this video uh yet yeah, the puddle duck puddle foot the duck family of sylvanians are good i knew that so i wanted those um i think i paid 20 pound for the pair these i think are worth 40 pounds plus if they're all there and all clean and complete which they do seem to be not looked up any comps on the caravan yet but i imagine that's got to be a 20 pound note as well I would, I would think almost for sure but yeah look out for those guys they are good now not every purchase is a fantastic purchase you can't win them all you can't always strike gold i did make a little error on this one not on this item but on what this item led me to do so the first item i bought of the entire day was this chinon <laughs> 806 sm direct sound home cinema camera it's fantastic look at it look at the guy's haircut what is it it's got to be 70s late 70s early 80s chinon direct i have looked in there I've not, obviously i've not well i'll say obviously i could have tried it i've not tried it um the whatever this bit is the laser pointer or the mic booming whatever that is that's not in there that arm don't know if that should have come with the set originally but the camera's in there i saw comps of it at, i think i think one sold for 50 pounds um i think there's some listed at more than that and it's boxed it is old i paid five pounds for it it was very early in the day i thought just break the seal now right now sometimes that's the best thing to do you get in there you buy something and it stops that hesitation when you come to the next stall but <laughs> i probably should have hesitated at the next stall because buying this vintage piece of photography technology um led me to buy a pretty rubbish lot so yeah buying that chin on led me to, then to another stall where i thought you know what i've never tried buying vintage uh cameras and, and photography stuff before let's buy a little lot and see how we do with it we've got this practica camera a whole load of vintage lenses um the thing that, that led me to to buy the lot was that i googled or ebay comped nissin i looked up nissin i thought that's i've heard of that brand so i just looked up nissin vintage flashes <laughs> and saw that some of them were pretty flash some of the prices were right up there over 100 pound for a second round used one um these are not those <laughs> these are not great but yeah there's a whole job lot flashes not so flashy box flash also not so flashy but you can't win them all like i say like i said so i think what i'll probably do is i'll probably lock those all together in fact rather than try and show you them all i'll just drop a little image here boom there you go look out for that ebay listing <laughs> that's all of it you can pick it up if you want it all untested but yeah i think that's it i think that's it for this pickup well guys thanks for watching this car to catch up i hope you enjoyed it i hope you're enjoying the gopro footage if you've not yet make sure you subscribe to the channel give it a like all that stuff but from me and the crab until next time it's goodbye for now <laughs> See you next time.